This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to this special debate out of Bangalore. Now when you think of a cosmopolitan city like New York, London, Paris or Rome, among the many images that come to your mind are that of a vibrant nightlife. But if you're looking for a vibrant nightlife, then India's IT capital, India's city of the 21st century, Bangalore, is not the place to be. There are people who believe that the many curbs on nightlife in Bangalore are actually killing the city's spirit. Now, is this a concern of just an elite minority? Or is it really an attack on fundamental rights and freedoms? Well, joining us to debate this, we're very happy to have Karnataka's Home Minister, Mr. V.S. Acharya. We have the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Shankar Bidri, the man in charge of implementing all these rules. Santosh Kumar of the Kannada Rakshana Vedike, a man with strong views of his own, representing an organization that fights for what it sees as Kannada rights. We have Gina Braganza, a representative of the Pub and Restaurant Owners Association, a nightclub owner herself. We have one of Bangalore's leading DJs, one of India's leading DJs, DJ Ivan. And we have Ms. Harinder Singh, the general manager of the Hotel Grand Ashok to join us in this debate. Are we treating people like children? All these rules, all these regulations, you must go home at 11.30, you must shut down. Unless you have a license, you cannot dance in a place which serves alcohol. Are we treating people like children here? Why? See, the whole thing is, uh, I think, uh, there's an impression gaining in certain section of the people that the new government in Karnataka has brought certain new regulations and restrictions. Uh -huh on the nightlife of people of Bangalore. It's not so. There has been there a set of rules under uh, Karnataka Excise Act yeah. imposed uh, right from 1967. Mm -hmm. 1967 mm -hmm. as per the notification then and the regulations. These things were there. Various timings were given yes. mm -hmm. for uh, liquor consumption and uh, mm -hmm. for serving liquor and all those things. We have only once again reiterated them in uh, extraordinary gadget in uh, 2000 not even yes. now yes. 2000 we are just implementing those things and uh, the impression that certain new regulation restriction mm. or the government is eager to bring some restriction is not correct so you're saying these are not new restrictions no, not new restrictions at all mr Bidri, what are the restrictions there is an impression going around that you cannot dance in a discotheque in bangalore that it's not legal no discotheque can run without a valid license without a license we have told them to obtain license and run the discotheque who has prevented them gina who has prevented you from taking a license and letting people dance the way we understand it we've all been in business for about at least five years we have obtained a valid uh, excise license okay which is called the cl9 for most of us we operate under the rules of that in order to get that license there are stringent uh, requirements okay various on various counts so we have actually got a license that permits us to serve alcohol now if i understand this right and from whatever research we've done we are certainly allowed to play music as per this license okay and uh, now that we have been asked to implement yet another license or to apply for yet another license it's a little confusing for us i think this entire uh, debate started when in 2005 the government decided to root out the dance bars and certain legislation was put into place for that and unfortunately i think we've got caught in the crossfire one of the first things that you have to do when you ask for that license is that the government says uh, or the police department says that they will place an ad in a newspaper uh, inviting objections. Now, there will definitely be certain elements in society who will object to this. Now, does this throw us open? Is it a fair ground for so obtaining a license? Elements of society question. will object to this. That's my cue for Mr. Santosh Kumar. Uh, yes. What does uh, the KRB feel about places I of entertainment have, like this? I have a this? strong objection uh, for this calling as an elements. They should honor their commitment. They should use the right wording for that. Karnataka Rakhana Vedike, you to Bosha, you want to Ratri Hanan Gantege, Hanir Gantege, license for Gian Madikari Guru, you want to Grassachur Matartagre, Modulu Nama Karnataka Rakhana Vedikate, Barati Samskriti and Hirte, Nama Barati Samskriti and the Ilu Hindi on the Gauravi, on the Narigon Gauravi, Namada Adanta on the Kale Samskriti, what the Videshir Bartik Vandaga, 
ಇಲ್ಲಿನ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯನ್ನು ಮೆಚ್ಚಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿನ ಒಂದು ಏನು ಮದುವೆಯ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಅವರು ಮದುವೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ವಿದೇಶಿಯರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಆಕರ್ಷಿತರಾಗಿರುವಾಗ ಬಹುಶಃ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಭಾರತೀಯರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಕಡೆಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಗಮನ ಹೋಗದೆ ವಿದೇಶಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯ ಕಡೆಗೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ಇವತ್ತು ಆರೇ ಬರೇ ನಗ್ನ ಅವಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕುಣಿಯುವಂಥ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಇದು ಭಾರತೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಗೆ ಮಾರಕವಾದದ್ದು ಇದನ್ನು ಖಂಡಿತ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ರಾಜ್ಯ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ನಿರ್ಧಾರ ತಗೊಂಡಿದೆ ಬಹಳ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾದ ನಿರ್ಧಾರ ಸೂಕ್ತವಾದ ನಿರ್ಧಾರ ಆ ನಿರ್ಧಾರವನ್ನು ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಬದಲಿಸಬಾರದು ಅನ್ನೋ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟ ನಿರ್ಧಾರ the karnataka government stand to restrict this thing it's against indian culture ivan what do you feel about this it has to be a combination of everything we have it we have people from all different sections of society maybe we are a niche maybe we are a small section of people but everybody has their own form of recreation and it's a very clean form of recreation we are all law abiding citizens people are, are here the, from all over the world we are not mm. just against the playing of music mm. now yavudra bagge namma virodha ant helidre ಹೆಣ್ಣು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಒಂದು ಭಾರತೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ನಾರಿಯನ್ನು ಅರನಗ್ನಾವಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕುಡಿಯುವಂಥ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶನ ಇವ್ರದ್ದು ಅವರ ಹೆಸರಲ್ಲಿ ಹಣ ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಇನ್ನೇನಂದ್ರೆ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಇವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ನಾವು ರಾತ್ರಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಐ ಟಿ ಸಿಟಿ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬೇಕು ಜನ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಿರ್ದೆ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ಇವತ್ತು ಪ್ರಪಂಚದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಗುರುತಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನದಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಚಾಕಚಕ್ಯದಿಂದ ಬುದ್ಧಿಶಕ್ತಿಯಿಂದ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಇವತ್ತು ರಾತ್ರಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಿದ್ರೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಬಾರ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕುಡಿತ ಮಾದಕ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಸೇವನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಅವನ ಮಾನಸಿಕ ಸ್ವಸ್ಥತೆಯನ್ನು ಕಳ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾನೆ ಆ ಮಾನವೀಯ ಮೌಲ್ಯಗಳೇನಿದೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ಎಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಮಗು ತಂದೆಯ ಮುಖವನ್ನೇ ಕಾಣದೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ವರ್ಷಗಳಾಗ್ತದೆ ನಾಳೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾದರೂ ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕ ಸ್ಥಳದಲ್ಲಿ ನಿನ್ನ ತಂದೆ ಯಾರಂತ ಕೇಳಿದರೆ ಮಗು ಅನುಮಾನದಿಂದ ಬರಬೇಕು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ತಂದೆ ಮುಖವನ್ನೇ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಸಾರಿ ನೋಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂಥ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಬೇಡ ನಾವು ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಕನ್ನಡ ರಕ್ಷಣಾ ವೇದಿಕೆ ರೇಡೆಡ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ರೇಡೆಡ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ದ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಇವತ್ತು ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಂತಾರೆ ಕಳ್ಳತನ ಆದರೆ ಆ ಕಳ್ಳನನ್ನು ಹಿಡಿದು ಕಾನೂನಿಗೆ ಒಪ್ಪಿಸುವಂಥ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬ ನಾಗರಿಕನ ಒಬ್ಬ ಪ್ರಜೆಯ ಮೇಲಿದೆ ಅವರ್ ದೇ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಪೊಲೀಸಸ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಬೈ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೈ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ರಿಲಿ ಟು ದ ಕೇರ್ ವಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ರೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಎವರಿ ಸಿಟಿಜನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಎ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಎ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಅಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಡಿಡ್ ದೇ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ದೇ ಬಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ದೇ ಪುಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಔಟ್ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ದಿ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದಿ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ Why Because is, when a particular uh, illegal activity takes place in a private place, other citizens have no right. If it takes place on a street, a particular person snatches away a chain from the neck of a lady or a handbag or a mobile, then public can catch it. But if any it is taking in a private place, that time a police officer is required to be there yes. and he has to take the action. Mr. Acharya, these were not police officers there. These were private citizens going and stopping this. Yeah, is, is there no, should the, action not be taken? The lim- within their limits, of course. Were they within their limits? There cannot be any, see, they have gone to a place where there was no license or anything. So after perhaps getting clue about all those things, they have gone there. But should they, they have, not have gone through the proper see, authorities? See, there is a what thing called the, as informants. Hmm. informants. But Sometimes the carry themselves, them. they did not inform Sometimes you. Sometimes we hmm. give them remuneration also. Huh. it is one such feedback for the government they have they have helped us in a way they the whole, you. whole attention was drawn about this factor after 25th of july <coughs> so they helped happened. you they helped no, you by raiding that party way, by pulling people way, out i am not defending anybody huh. it's not my case also hmm. but if they have gone to a place and uh, shown to our uh, law enforcing authority that these things are happening to that extent it's okay was well advanced in front of the department it because was of the department hmm. people to reach this remote hmm. area it has taken a long time hmm. when the people try to escape from that area we had covered that area and handed over to the police we had never taken who, who, directly right and it was thinks well the, intimate to the department but who thinks that the krv the kind of action where they can maybe did overstepped their mark see regarding that incident that that, that, that would seem to be a large uh, my uh, day wh- why, why do you feel uh, what, what are your feeling about this entire thing are not in a position to uh, decide whether it's right
violently raid our party. Isn't India also a country of tolerance? whatever use they have got they can always convey to the investigating officer everything will be taken into account and objective assessment of the situation will be made impartial investigation will be done if they have heard we will deal with them also equally we want to follow laws we are all law abiding citizens i don't drink and smoke myself but Neither i love to play music i own a bar no, 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 i love to play music yeah, so it does I love not to make us better or worse citizens i love people to dance i love to play music i go to all parts of the country i represent everywhere the, the thing, and then we want people to have the freedom to dance with, with if liquor is the problem put liquor out of the equation exactly. let us have non alcoholic bars if, if we would say that is, is, is it a more is it a moral issue is it alcohol which is becoming a moral issue now because the problem do you want prohibition it's a complex issue my ji law and order is also in war you know night crimes when they were on the rise things had to be you see law had to be in place and it has to be in enforced section feel these 30. restrictions do make night yes. safer in yes, the city and mr bidri as police commissioner you agree with that one thing i will tell you no whether they want to do bharatanatyam odisi kathak kuchipudi yeah manipuri indian music western music jazz music ballroom dancing everything is permitted 24 hours within their homes second thing is that if they want to observe outside ravindra kalakshetra is there chowda memorial lodge is there is there gayan samaj is there so many public places are there in the entire world bengaluru has got largest number of cultural places please dance by all means <laughs> to your heart heart's content the only restriction is in a tavern in a bar in a pub where liquor is served please stop at 11:30 that is the law that is the law see dancing only not allowed but music can be played i mean are we differentiating see, between music and i already given it in writing to a thai lady who had come to me who she is also running some restaurant there is absolutely no bar to play background music background music how loud can it be how loud private recorded music So, so is there any definition no, beyond that sir so what ivan no, plays I not like no, that ivan plays recorded music for everything there is no definition by common right. sense if it is for the enjoyment and recreation of the customers right. who frequent the pubs and bars right. if some background music is put we have no objection and can people dance Provided to that recorded that music that music is not made to use to run a dance floor can can people can so, customers dance to that recorded music no, no. I, i told you no not in a place where liquor yeah. is served so can can i come back to that question just so that we are clear as yeah, to yeah, what yeah, is yeah, possible yeah, not please, possible please, because please. you see when we sit down to figure out what is possible for us to do in our please. businesses we are unclear yeah. and since i have this opportunity okay, i am going to ask you please so my question is supposing we have a valid license which is a liquor license cl9 we've got our restaurant clearance etc we are playing background music okay as you say that it is permitted now a customer who is enthusiastic and he is enjoying the music he is enjoying his food he is enjoying his drink he decides to shake a leg let him shake on his sir, chair sir okay so you are saying on the chair he can shake if he gets up and he shakes his leg next to his chair what is the what is the issue see the intent we have to take a holistic view of the things so the intent see, is see provide if you provide a stand by 10 space to dance that is an offense right. i will tell you now it's an offense understand. i do understand understand i do appreciate your highest regard love and affection for dancing 
Please stop the liquor. It's good, no, sir. No, please stop that liquor. No problem. You surrender that bar license. And then you can Tomorrow dance. Tomorrow only you start dancing from 10 o'clock. So it's, it's a choice between dancing. dancing. Yeah. For, for a DJ, like, like it's very difficult for if, a DJ. If I have understood one second, Maya, I'd like to just <laughs> clarify that. If I have understood you right, sir, basically what you're saying is that if a customer is listening to music, he decides to shake his leg, he decides to get up from his chair and dance, See. that's not a problem. But if we are to provide a specified dance area, which we have to designate as a dance floor, then we have to get a license. Have so, I understood sir, that right? No, you are right. Uh, but right. please don't uh, the stretch things too far. Not too much, sir. Just, so, to, just suppose, try to understand. Suppose in a bar there are about 25 chairs. Yeah. Tomorrow everybody starts dancing yeah. in his place only. Can it will lead to disorderly conduct. Yes. Definitely. Then, Definitely. Then so the license just, will just go. Just, yeah. Let's just Fair get enough. a couple of... So okay. What, you are saying what I will tell you now. You please take away the liquor. Okay. You surrender the, you will save 5 lakhs rupees also. So it's a choice, it's a choice of liquor or dancing. You will save 5 lakhs dancing also, or dance, drink, not dance, dance, dance and drink. So, full it's, dance, it's, so in Bangalore, no in Bangalore it's don't drink and dance, not don't drink and drive, don't drink and dance. Lots of views there coming out of a city where you're not supposed to drink and dance unless you have the license to do so. Time now for a short break, we'll be back after that with lots more views.